Okay, part two of our pharmacology for infectious processes is going to take a look at antifungal agents. Objectives for this unit are that you should be able to list two common fungal infections. You should be able to describe at least two drugs that are effective against fungal infections and list uh, three side effects of some antifungal medications. So antifungal agents um, are those that are effective against a fungus. So really, what is a fungus? Uh, as you recall, and my little picture down at the bottom may help, funguses are actually small, microscopic, um, start out as microscopic plant-like organisms. So the funguses are plants that live on all kinds of surfaces and objects. Soil um, can live anywhere in a dark, warm, moist environment. And fungal infections can really be um, of three different types. The first would be a systemic fungal infection, and that'd be one where it gets into the bloodstream and it's affecting all parts of the body. The second type would be that of a dermatophytic, which means the fungus affects a skin or an appendage of the skin. These are probably our, one of our more common ones, more so than a systemic. And you may think of nail infections, like from the artificial nails or toenail fungal infections. Um, uh, some other types um, would be ringworm, which is also a fungal infection of the skin, or athlete's foot, um, which is a fungal infection that um, affects the feet and causes that cracking and drying and itchiness, uh, particularly between the toes of the feet. And then we also have um, candida infections and candida albicans yeast um, lives naturally on the body in various parts of the body particularly where mucous membranes are so in in the mouth um, in the vagina are two common places where it naturally lives um, for some reason or another um, one could be antibiotic therapy Sometimes the um, yeast population is not kept in check and as a result um, proliferates. And then we see this um, white patchy um, patchiness in the mouth or we might see this white thick discharge um, if we're talking vaginally. Again, we're talking dark, warm, moist environments. So you can also see this in like, for example, um, in infants in the diaper area or if we have an adult who is wearing briefs, um, uh, incontinence briefs specifically. So if it gets dark, warm, moist area, um, it's one reason for frequent diaper changes. Uh, but we can um, see yeast proliferating there too. Some of the common antifungal medications that we use, and again, you may be very, should be very familiar with some of these. Um, one would be monostat, and monostat is um, a preparation, can be bought over the counter now, used to be prescription, and it treats yeast infections, particularly vaginal yeast infections. Comes in a cream, um, comes in a suppository form, um, and very effective against yeast infections. Um, another one um, could be uh, Lamacil. Lamacil is a prescription um, that we use to treat nail funguses. And I think there's, there's been some commercials on about Lamacil, so you may be familiar with that. A very common one, Desinex. In Desinex, we use in the diaper area to treat um, diaper rashes. Um, so these are a couple of very common uh, antifungal medications that you may see out there. Um, tenactin um, is another one, um, and tenactin is used to treat the fungus that's on athletes' feet. So um, a number of these can now be purchased these days over um, over-the-counter prescription or non-prescription in over-the-counter form. Common side effects, specifically if we're looking at systemic um, treatment with an antifungal, um, would be chills, fever, headache 
nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stuff, the GI stuff. Um, serious ones, though, that we really need to keep an eye out for would be nephrotoxicity um, and also hepatotoxicity or liver damage. So frequently before giving a systemic antifungal such as alamacil, um, we would run BUN, creatinine, and liver enzyme tests to make sure that we have good functioning kidney and liver prior to administration. If we're using them long term, we will want to monitor those functions throughout the course of therapy also. Um, some fungal infections take quite a while to get rid of and um, just because of the nature of fungus themselves. So um, we do need to monitor um, the kidneys and the liver um, throughout therapy to make sure we aren't seeing damage from the medications.